The Perico pistol is one Strickler's prized sidearm, and can be stolen by the player during the Kayo Perico heist. The Perico pistol appears to be based on a German P08 Luger, though it lacks any trigger guard toggle locking mechanism and is breech loaded as opposed to being magazine fed. A similar golden engraved Luger was owned by German politician Franz von Poppen. The front sight barrel and chamber design appear to be styled after the golden gun from the James Bond film The Man with the Golden Gun. When obtaining the key from the sleeping guard, the player is also awarded $7,007, another reference to James Bond 007. In game, the Perico pistol is an antique handgun that features a rounded ivory grip printed with a shield insignia on a gold circle. The handgun's loading mechanism and barrel is made of gold. The Perico pistol can be found in one Strickler's private office during the Kayo Perico heist finale. In the film, The Man with the Golden Gun, the Golden Gun was designed and owned by the fictional Francisco Scaramanga, a wealthy Spanish assassin who owns a private island, sharing similarities with one Strickler. In 1991, Amanda was working as a stripper alongside her sisters in a strip club her mother owned. At one point, while working, she met a bank robber named Michael Towley and his two fellow partners in crime, Trevor Phillips and Brad Snyder. Though initially taking a liking to Brad, she ultimately began dating Michael, who bought breast implants for her and made money using her as a prostitute. Eventually, they wound up getting married and having two children together, Jimmy and Tracy, and lived in a trailer in the Midwest. She stayed faithful to Michael until she caught him having sex with a stripper, leading to her cheating on Michael with many different men. At some point in the summer of 2012, Amanda rented out their house to porn producers, without her husband's knowledge. The number plate for Amanda's Sentinel is KRYST4L, which is Leetspeak for Crystal, this was Amanda's stripper name. Amanda appears to have a drinking problem, and also appears to be a kleptomaniac. Vicky Van Tassel is the voice of Amanda DeSanta in Grand Theft Auto V. Chop is a large Rottweiler dog that appears in Grand Theft Auto V, serving as the tritagonist to Franklin Clinton. He is owned by Lamar Davis but lives with Franklin for a majority of the storyline and later appears as a main character in Grand Theft Auto Online as part of the contract update. In Grand Theft Auto Online, the player could transform into Chop after consuming a peyote plant in the backyard of Clinton residence. Chop is generally a friendly dog but he will attack any NPC who inflicts injury to Franklin or threatens him verbally. If the player throws a ball for Chop to fetch he will always run over to pick it up unless the ball lands in the water or in any other unreachable location if the player throws a grenade while chop is following them chop will run after it and attempt to pick it up as if it was a ball this will result in chop either dying or getting seriously injured by the grenade's explosion this glitch is most likely caused by the fact that the ball is in the same category as grenades usually are therefore chop's ai is unable to distinguish between a ball and a grenade chop has his own phone number there is no way to enable this phone number at all Bog Bogdan's crew are a renegade group of Russian soldiers led by Bogdan in Grand Theft Auto Online as part of the Doomsday Heist update. These soldiers wear blue camouflaged fatigues with their faces concealed with a balaclavas. All of them speak with a thick Russian accent. They are heavily armed, use armored vehicles, and their base of operations is a large submarine called the Ramius. Initially members of the Russian military, these soldiers went rogue and traveled to San Andreas in 2017 aboard the Ramius. Upon arrival, they immediately begin launching various attacks against the International Affairs Agency. Avon Hertz and his AI neural network Clifford run an analysis using data acquired by Lester Crest and the online protagonist to determine that it was Bogdan who had paid Meriwether security to launch a failed assault on the IAA. Bogdan's crew is notable for being a gang in Grand Theft Auto Online that appears exclusively in missions and not in free roam. Under no circumstance can members of this group be seen outside of missions. In the mission The Doomsday Scenario, Lester finds it extremely ironic that the Russians turned out to be the good guys. Grove Street is a street in Grand Theft Auto V and Grand Theft Auto Online, located in Davis, South Los Santos. Grove Street is one of only a couple of named streets retained from the 3D Universe rendition of Los Santos along with the iconic Vinewood Boulevard. Contrary to the separation of the Universe renditions, references made in Grand Theft Auto V to the street's prior appearance in the 3D Universe in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. According to Lamar Davis, most of the Grove Street family's OGs eventually moved on with their lives and possibly became rich. Grove Street is most likely based on Spruce Street in Compton because of the cul-de-sac, the tree-related name, the proximity to the city's river, and that the ballas occupy the area. In real life, the treetop pyru set of the Bloods occupy the street. During the mission Hood Safari, three men on bicycles can be seen riding away. The man in the front is wearing clothes similar to Carl Johnson's default clothes. This is a reference to the mission Sweet and Kendall in GTA San Andreas, in which CJ, Sweet, Smoke and Ryder escape the pursuing ballas on bikes.
The Lampadati Toro is a high-end speedboat featured in Grand Theft Auto 5 and Grand Theft Auto Online as part of the Ill-Gotten Gains Part 2 update. The boat is mainly based on the Riva Aquarama Lamborghini, which is a luxury wooden runabout built by Italian yacht builder Riva. Jeremy Clarkson, whilst piloting the boat in Venice, described it as the most beautiful thing ever made. The actress Charlize Theron piloted an Aquarama Super in 1993 in a spot for Martini and Rossi. The Toro is clearly distinguished by its long profile and two-tone wooden finish on the upper portion similar to the speeder, bearing a chrome lining finishing the outer edges of the boat. The Toro only spawns in a black color that is applied on the lower portions of the hull and part of the interior. The boat also has a unique horn sound not shared with other vehicles. The boat has two large inboard V12 engines with double-barrel carburetors, with a deep engine noise. Toro means bull in Italian and Spanish, which is probably a reference to Ferruccio Lamborghini, who owned a Riva Aquarama with two inboard Lamborghini V12 engines. Wood Safari is a mission in Grand Theft Auto 5 given by Lamar Davis to Franklin Clinton and Trevor Phillips at Franklin's house. The mission was originally going to be called Ghetto Safari and Urban Safari. The name and setup of the mission are similar to Concrete Jungle, a mission in Grand Theft Auto 4, where Nico Bellic helps little Jacob to go to a drug deal, which fails, leaving Nico to kill the dealers and later taking revenge on the dealer's friends in their apartment. This mission is extremely similar to a scene of the movie Training Day where a resident of Compton, on which Grove Street and Davis in general are based, yells out to the gang members nearby that they were ripped off, prompting a gunfight. In Hood Safari, the drug dealer who attempts to swindle Franklin, Lamar, and Trevor, shouts a line about buyer's remorse before slamming the door, prompting the local ballast members to open fire on the trio. Lamar will text Trevor after the mission, offering to hang out. Trevor can call Lamar afterwards, engaging in an awkward conversation. Chop please once the firefight begins, following Lamar's orders. Once the mission ends, he'll return to Franklin's safe house. Life Invader is an online social networking service and company in GTA 5. Each of the three GTA 5 protagonists have their own viewable Life Invader profile. Throughout the story, characters will post on their timelines regarding events that took place during missions. As an Easter egg, Nico Bellic has a profile, however it is only viewable on Jimmy's laptop screen and cannot be accessed on the in-game internet. Several other GTA 4 characters also have profiles. It is a parody of Facebook, while the interface is based on the old Facebook wall instead of the current timeline. Its name is a joke referring to invading other people's lives. It was founded by CEO Jay Norris in his parents' house. According to him, the average Life Invader worker's age is 14.4 years. As of 2013, Life Invader had reached a billion registered users. Life Invader was planning on making its own cell phone. It was supposed to be compatible with other competing devices such as iFruit and steal data off of them. However, the prototype was destroyed by Michael DeSanta in an effort to kill the CEO Jay Norris.